This is Bed Brown, Director of Customer Success for IHT. This video will demonstrate how to create measures for your assessments. First, let's define the term measure for this application. A measure is the criteria in which the student will be assessed. On this rubric, the first criteria is offensive skills, standard one, middle school measure sixth, eighth grade. Then we move down to the second measure, which is dribbling. Third is shooting. Fourth is defensive skills. Log into your IHT account. Click on assessments. On the next screen, click measures. Before we create a new measure, I want to explain the term tags. What tags will do will group your measures. So if I put in student record here, notice that I always click on the blue line. What this will do, this will group and give me all of the measures that have been created under the tag student record. Now click on new measure. And from my rubric, the first measure that I want to assess is offensive skills. So the way I would label it is type in offensive skills, then in parentheses, standard one, middle school measure six. I normally don't put a grade behind it because many times offensive skills can be used in multiple grade levels for um, middle school. Now under tags, I'm going to type in, I'm going to make this a standard one. This part is really important. I come down and I click in where it says standard one and it's that blue line. Under unit of measure, IHT has all different types of measures that you can use from a count to a timer to yes, no. There's just an array of different types of units of measure. But for this one, it's going to be a count. After you click save, the next screen, you want to go under tags, start typing in your tag. As soon as you see that it appears, click on it. Here is the measure that we just created. Now click on that measure. And what's neat about IHT, we can change everything in here and upgrade it as needed, except for one area, which is the unit. Once we have created a label with a certain unit, then that unit you cannot change. You can archive it and create a new one, but you can't change the unit on this one. So now we come in and we're going to um, customize the very top of that rubric. So here's just some things that I've done recently for other people. Uh, the first one is not assessed. The next one is not yet. In other words, the students are still working on it. Then the next one is developing. Kids are getting stronger, but they're still working on it. Then the next one, proficient. And then the last one that people commonly use is exceeds. Now we're going to set the norms or the criteria. So human performance, gender matters, age matters with some of the things that we collect data on, but not everything that we collect data on. So IHT has the option of gender over here to the side, as well as then we are going to connect everything to the age of the student. So if I click new row, it's always going to start at age five. But maybe for middle school, I want to start it at age 10, depending on what grade level starts our middle school. Not assessed, we're going to put a zero in. Not yet, one, developing two, proficient three, exceeds four. This is lining up with our rubric. Then I simply just go in and duplicate, because in this scenario, I do not uh, change these norms uh, depending on their grade and age. And after I get this done, then go in, which I've already done the females, 
and now I'm ready to click save 